Was it a routine checkup? What, like how, what was your story? Well, first of all, I was diagnosed in 2009. Okay. With, uh, stage two kidney cancer. Out of the blue one night, I just went to the bathroom and there was blood in my urine for the first time. Like most guys, you know, they'll just sit on it. But I just jumped and went into the hospital because yeah. I was freaking out. I'm like, what's going on? This is crazy. So they did a uh, urine sample and they did a CAT scan and they found that there was a mass growing on my right kidney. Mm -hmm. So like I said, I was diagnosed with stage two kidney cancer. What the process was for, to remove kidney cancer is just to do a, a robotic surgery, go in and take the can cancer out and that's it. So my doctor always said, if you wanna get cancer, kidney cancer is the cancer you wanna get because there's no radiation involved and there's right. no chemo chemotherapy involved. Okay. So I was scheduled to uh, get the surgery done. And while I was in the operating room, they ran into complications. Uh, somehow, I guess the doctor hit one of the blood vessels and I started mm -hmm. bleeding out. So a two hour surgery turned into like a seven hour surgery. Oh my gosh. My wife was by my side every step of the way. I was in the hospital for at least six to seven days. She never left my side. I recovered, everything was good. I was considered cancer free until 2016. I went in for my random every year checkup and then uh, they did another MRI. Then he noticed another mass on my left kidney. So I was like, oh, here we go again. Mm. I prayed, I had the wife by my side, I had the kids by my side. Okay. I always, I always knew that I would be fine because I always have a positive attitude. If I get bad news or good news, I always stay positive. Mm -hmm. So what happened with that one, same thing. They went in, he said, you're gonna have to go get a biopsy. We wanna we want to determine what kind of cancer it is, what the size of it is and all that stuff. So I went in for a biopsy. After they did the biopsy, guess what? The cancer was gone. A miracle had happened. When they, he said, <laughs> the doctor had said, when he went in with the needle, he guessed that the cancer somehow just, I don't know disappeared so the, the cancer was gone wow praise god praise god i i never like we 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 know we had miracles or maybe they i've heard of people being opened up and then there was nothing there and yeah. everything but this is like the biopsy stage like he's yeah. just trying to see out i guess where it is and all that kind of stuff i don't know yeah. um but for it to just be gone. And so you didn't even have to go through anything at that point. The second time, no, I didn't have to go through any surgery or anything like that. So I know, were they baffled? Were they, were they like, what? Of course, yeah, <laughs> I, I knew it was God. I knew it was God, but you know how doctors are. And he's like, oh, I can't yeah. believe this. Well, I don't know what's going on. I've never seen this in my 20 something years. I was like, I know what it was. It was my we Lord know. and Savior, yes. We now, were you guys in prayer at that time? Were you like just praying when you got a diagnosis and you started like just believing God for it? Oh, or... definitely. Okay. definitely. I, always, I always prayed. I always knew God was a healer. He, mm -hmm. he healed me once. I knew he can do it again. So what mm -hmm. happened, like I said, right now, I, I only have one and a half kidneys because it's, it's called a partial nephrectomy, what they did the first okay. time. So they only removed part of my kidney. So I okay. still have two kidneys, but it's like one and a half. Mm hmm so no dialysis, nothing like that. Thank God, no dialysis. My kidney functions are not where they're supposed to be because you know okay. I'm only working with one and a half kidney, but no dialysis. Amazing, like absolutely amazing. I thought you were gonna say, you know, I went through all this stuff and you know they did another surgery and you know <laughs> praise God now it's gone. But you're like, oh, it just disappeared. It's just oh, yeah. not there anymore. Like. Yeah, I know it's got look at what that's amazing. I'm in awe of that testimony right there because I wasn't expecting that. I was just expecting you to say, like I said, a repeat of the first one. But yeah. for it to just happen where a biopsy and nothing, yeah. that is absolutely amazing. I know you were like, listen, I know what it is. Y'all don't have to agree because doctors can be like, you know, like. Mm -hmm. We don't believe in miracles. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe it wasn't a mask. Maybe it was just a die. You know, <laughs> so yeah, they'll try to justify it. But knowing God is just wow. God is a healer. Yes, he and is. And we saw the tumor, and that's what was even more surprising. Like oh, wow. they did so many tests. They sent him into the MRI machine. He would just listen to music and stay still. He said he would fall asleep in the machine, and the tumor yeah. was clearly there. 
and then it was just gone there and then gone that's yeah. not just a just a, a miracle healing that's just like i didn't, I couldn't even just talk say what it was it's just like just a suddenly for god like you right. know like yeah. there and then not there god is like watch me yeah watch. that's when the bible says exceedingly abundantly above all um, that we could ask for a thing because i couldn't even think of that i was just thinking that i slept in the hospital every single night we're gonna have to go through this all over again and i wasn't thinking that god deals in exceedingly and abundantly above what we could ever ask 